afternoon guys, MC Procrastinate here for another 2 minute video as part of 2 minute series. If you don't know what the 2 minute series is, check the video link below and you find out all about it. The topic of today is, should you buy second hand or should you buy new? So really speaking, this is probably more focused about somebody that has a decision to make. Is it going to be new? Is it going to be used? Do they want to save a bit of money by used? What are their options? Um, I guess what are the pitfalls of buying used? And what are the benefits of buying you, right? So let's talk about um, vehicles in general, right? And what I mean by that is, let's look at something new. Let's say something like a, a Suzuki GSX-R600, right? Let's say that bike, well, over here in New Zealand, you can buy a GSX-R600 brand new for about fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, all right? Let's say you go in, you buy your bike, you're really happy with it, drive it away. So what are the benefits? Well, one, you're the first owner. What does that mean? Nobody else has ridden the bike. So when you ask the sales guy, uh, is there anything I need to know about this bike? No, because it's brand new, right? Number two, warranty. Well, that's great. If anything goes wrong with the bike for the first couple of years, depending on the brand, you're covered. It's a no-brainer. As long as you service the vehicle within its um, scheduled services. So, the long and short of it, if you buy new, there's lots of benefits there. So, what are the negatives, right? Is there any negatives there? Well, yes, there is considerable negatives, but really, it does associate to your circumstance. Let me explain. If you buy a new bike, I guarantee you, the minute that you walk out of that showroom, You've lost, if you've paid $15,000, you lost five grand. How can you lose $5,000? Because you might go, well, there's a year old one advertised for, say, $13,000. Well, the reason that you lose that is because when you buy a new bike, whatever taxes, taxes are applied to that bike for the very first time ever, right? And unfortunately, you're the guy that's paying those taxes. The next person doesn't pay that because you paid that. And what that means is, the breakdown would be a little bit like this. In our country, GST, which is our taxes, is 17.5%. So if we've got to buy 15 grand, that's just short of $3,000, right? So I go out in the showroom, there's $3,000 gone because the taxes in the bike, it's not even the profit in the bike. And then on a new bike, the profit's anywhere from maybe $500 right up to $2,000. I'd probably say in most instances with something like a GSX-R Suzuki, it's probably like a grand. So that takes you down to 10 grand. Wow. So let's imagine now your circumstances change within six months. You decide that you don't like the bike. You change jobs and you're not commuting anymore you're gonna be pretty shocked to find out that when you go to the dealer and you ch either change that bike or you ask them to buy the bike back off you and he hits you with nine, ten thousand dollars you're like, what? What? So you need to be aware of that, it's a huge problem. So then you go, whoa, wait a minute. So if that guy pays the tax, I need to buy second hand, right? Yeah, possibly. So, second hand can be a bit ambiguous as well because like I said, in the dealer, you have an option to buy a second-hand bike, let's say it's $12,000, $13,000, but it's done 20,000 Ks. Ah, that's not so appealing, is it? So you go back, look at a new one, but you know it's worth 10 grand. So then you do another thing. You go, well, wait a minute. I know what the problem is here. I'm buying from a dealer. Let's not buy from a dealer. Let's go and buy from somebody selling their bike on trade me or eBay, or whatever mode, or whatever um, advertisement, motor magazine that you would typically buy your thing from, or your bike from. And then that's a problem, right? Because one of the benefits, well, you possibly save more money, you can negotiate harder, and you get a better deal, but do you really know what you're buying? You have to do a lot more research about what you're buying from who you're buying from if you're buying second hand. So, what is the answer? Well, the answer really is, if you can buy new, 
consider buying new, it gives you the least, it gives you the most security in what you're buying. If you're looking to keep a bike for the long term and you're prepared to take the risk if things change in the short term. If not, look for something that's in between. And that is a pre-registered bike or previous year's model. So whilst you'll pay taxes in that, overall you'll lose a lot less if you decide to sell it. And you'll buy that possibly two, three thousand dollars cheaper than the current model. So, let me know your thoughts. For now, MC Procrastinate around.